Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And in some ways, it may be quite romantic, but that can also be the caveat here that you have to be a little careful of. We are going to have right out of the gate a new moon that is very romantic, very heart oriented. Later in the month, a very social full moon as well. But both of these events and throughout the month, we've got a very active Neptune as well. And this is going to speak powerfully to a few different areas. One of the areas is just a general feeling of not realizing when you're overdoing it. Not realizing when what is being presented to you may not necessarily be a grounded perspective. It can happen sometimes to the best of us. But of course, with Neptune moving through a financial part of your sky, there's a desire now to align your finances with something that feels more meaningful, that feels more inspired. And that can be the tricky part. So there's a few things to talk about here. Let's start with that new moon right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, will welcome this month's new moon. Now this new moon is taking place in fellow air sign Gemini. That alone is amazing for you. That alone says fun, light energy, energy you're able to tap into and use to your advantage that much more. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with uh, flirtation and romance and what the heart desires in every area of life. Now the love stuff I'll save for later, um, but it also has to do with creativity. It has to do with the things that you create and your creations, including your children as well. And it has to do with enjoying your life, having fun, taking a chance, taking a risk. Gambling is covered here as well, along with other leisurely activities. Now, what's interesting though, is that Neptune is gonna be speaking with this new moon in a conversation of tension. And that can make for a lack of clarity to say the least. When we have energy like this, it is saying that it is not the time necessarily to hold people to their word, not the time to be taking any kind of big gambles or risks, certainly. And even in vice as well here can miss the mark, especially when it's connected to these particular areas that I mentioned. So for those of you who are using this energy in terms of your creative endeavors, this can be a time when you feel a little vulnerable sharing, but it can also be an overly indulgent time, a time when there isn't necessarily a lot of structure to what it is that is coming forward. Now that can work sometimes, right? Sometimes that's a good thing not to have that limitation of structure, especially where it comes to your creativity. But in order to actually manifest, we need some structure to be there. And so what you wanna watch and what you wanna be careful with is that you're not uh, going way overboard with a vision without necessarily contemplating, even for a moment, contemplating what the practical applications could be. Now, if it is that this energy works out in terms of your children, uh, remember where it comes to children you want. Um, I would say that if it is that you are wanting to have children, this may not be the time to get the advice, to do treatments. Again, all else being equal, not knowing your personal chart. But when we step back from the personal chart and just look at it from a perspective of your sun or your moon or your rising sign, this indicates that it may not be the best time for uh, any endeavors that you undertake in order to be with child. If you have children, this may not be the time to seek out advice or information that you hope will help improve their circumstances as every parent does hope to uh, take action to improve their child's circumstances. I feel like at best you may get information that is not accurate or maybe not helpful. At worst, you may end up uh, getting information that is purposefully uh, misleading. And that's where I'd want you to be a little bit careful. And as I said, any kind of gambling, uh, important risk taking, especially where it comes to things like your money, 
that's where you want to be careful neptune is after all moving through a part of the sky that has to do with money it has to do with money you spend and money that you earn as well and while neptune in and of itself moving through this part of the sky can make finances feel a little elusive from time to time uh, can make it so that there hasn't been a whole lot of structure or a very stable sense of progress since 2012 since neptune entered this part of the sky it can make you hopeful and it can make it so that your spiritual endeavors your artistic endeavors are what it is that helps to create more prosperity for you and when you root your understanding of prosperity in spirituality you're able to ensure that you're connected to a true and abundant if not limitless source of abundance so with this particular new moon there might be that tendency to believe that there's always going to be abundance and you're connected to that energy and that's a beautiful thing but then it ends up going in directions that you had not anticipated so we're possible i know it's not always possible but we're possible if you could bring greater structure and just bring about a greater uh, sense of predictability where it comes to uh, what it is that you are implementing that would probably be a good idea at this time i'm especially uh, hopeful with this energy though because i feel like it's going to connect you with heart and it's going to connect you with your own sense of fear your own uncertainty so that you can bring love to it so that you can raise your sense of self-esteem and self-value and self-love ultimately that is what this new moon is going to challenge you to do and where it is that you take up the challenge you will find the reward is there as well now where it comes to fun and this new moon the tendency to overdo it especially if you like to partake in wine or other things that uh, lend themselves to a, a little bit of a an alternate consciousness if you will uh, where it is that you like to indulge in that uh, this is where overdoing it becomes that much more likely so it is important that you are mindful of your intake uh, and being a little bit careful in that regard but again if you use this energy wisely it can be a true blessing where you realize how much you already have how much abundance is available to you and that so much of abundance is not about a paycheck as we navigate towards the middle of the month right around the 18th is when we are going to have this month's full moon now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that is considered your home in the sky it's a very social part of the sky okay it has to do with group endeavors friendships uh, wherever it is that people gather that is where we start focusing in on this area of the chart now there are a few things that stand out to me here it is not the time to mix friends and money i'm just going to lay it out there okay uh, not the time to necessarily get intricately involved in the uh, financial shared financial endeavors or financial prospects that are happening for a friend um, this is mainly about income so where it is that you're hoping uh, to take part in a joint venture so that both of you end up creating prosperity together uh, that's where things can get a little bit tricky now i'm not saying this energy is always going to be there i'm just saying that for right now and for this month uh, you want to be a little mindful of that especially as we get to the middle of the month within days of this full moon we are going to have Neptune going retro. So at this full moon, Neptune is standing still in the sky at the height of its power. And with Neptune moving through this financial part of your sky, well, it brings financial matters that much more to the forefront. Now this energy doesn't necessarily have to play out financially. Wherever it is that your self-esteem and self-worth is wrapped up in a particular dynamic, a group endeavor, personal or professional, uh, and wherever it is that some healing needs to take place there, that may come very much to the forefront at this time. In sometimes ways that feel easy and sometimes ways that don't feel so easy there's another factor here and i'm so sorry to say this but i do want to be straightforward with you sometimes with this energy 
what is being presented to us from a group of people uh, again group endeavors covered here friendships as well may not necessarily be rooted or grounded uh, in facts and so whether it is unintentional in that you are given information that is not correct or it is intentional again i'm so sorry to say that but it does happen uh, this would be not the time to go to a friend if you're on a fact-finding mission, if you're trying to understand more information or you're trying to understand what has been transpiring and what you want more to transpire of. But rather, this is a time to contemplate the wisdom of how you feel about other people, to seek some of your own counsel as well, but also strive not to be that person who is uh, passing along information that may not be accurate because as much as it is that it may be another uh, giving you the information, it can also be you as well. So a more humble perspective can go a really long way at this time. And a perspective where you are understanding what it is that true compassion and truly meaningful connections can gain well, that is when you start using this energy to your advantage. If you're involved in any kind of support groups as well, this can be a particularly emotional time, but it can also be a time that helps you to get in touch with a spirit of genuine inner cleansing. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we do have this new moon in a very romantic part of your sky. We've got Venus moving into the same part of the sky about a week into the month. These two things in and of themselves should set up a celestial atmosphere that makes it that much more likely that you could connect with someone new in a very natural, flirtatious way, that you could nurture the romance that is there between you and your partner. However, this isn't your normal everyday uh, events taking place in this part of the sky because of Neptune. And because Neptune is so active, it does suggest that there may be some key details there, some nuances there that you aren't seeing clearly. And that really is okay. It is very possible that you will see with eyes of hope that you'll be very swept up and swept away in a moment. And that moment in and of itself could feel like a high. But of course, for every high, there is a low, and you will get to that point where you're able to assess and look at things from a more balanced perspective. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, yes, be open, right? There are gonna be moments of genuine flirtation that take place. This tends to be a really nice energy this month and throughout this month, where you could connect with someone on a heart level and in a meaningful way. But at the same time, in order to really understand what could be going on here, in order to understand the underlying motivations and dynamics, you're gonna to have to pace yourself a little bit. But the uh, temptation is here to jump in fully, to dive into the pool of water that is this brand new person who may show up in your life now that you flirted with that one time. Uh, they may become very much an object of interest to you. And let that remind you that there is not only love in the world for you, but a genuine desire on your part to experience greater love than you've known before. For those of you just getting to know someone, perhaps you've just started dating someone, uh, this is going to be a time when you are feeling very caught up in this experience, uh, very swept away. As I said, there are a few moments this month that can have you feeling like you are floating on a cloud. Now that is a nice feeling, enjoy it. The reality may or may not be very, very different. That is the likelihood that the reality is very different. But if you are in the moment and you are doing what it is that you truly want to do, you can't make a wrong choice. For those of you in an established bond, look, there's a desire now to be swept away, swept up in a moment, uh, to feel truly loved and wined and dined from your partner. But I feel like there may be some deeper yearning that is taking place here. And it is very possible that whatever it is that your partner does may not necessarily satisfy that. There's a need for you to go within and to contemplate and consider what it is that you truly need in other areas of life, if not every area of life, to help you to feel that much more connected to an energy of love more often. But still, 
Yes, between you and your partner, if you choose to cultivate a moment, it can still be rewarding nonetheless. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's a lot here, but I do love that you've got all this beautiful energy that is building in fellow air sign Gemini. It means that while I did focus on the more confusing elements this month, because it is there, at the same time though, there is you being able to tap into this energy in a way that empowers you, inspires you, gets your creative juices flowing, and encourages you to truly enjoy your life right where you are right now. And that spirit of optimism, that spirit of openness that you bring can't help but create a momentum where you find yourself truly living in a space of genuine contentment and genuine joy. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.